Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazayas here from The Automator, and today I'm really excited because when when I upgraded to Windows 11, I lost this great phone app from, it's called Phone Link, or it used to be Your Phone, horrible name, great tool. Um, yeah. If you have an Android phone and you run a Windows computer, you can programmatically connect to your phone, your device, and look at the screen. You can do a lot of stuff here. I, I covered up the actual names and stuff, but you get the idea. I can look at my my previous calls now that I get rid of this, the, my friends. Um, I can see my apps that are installed. I can go to photos. Look, I got a new tractor. Yeah. Um, I can actually, like in here, if I click it, it opens my phone and displays what has my, my phone. What's awesome, though, is I'll go to messages and I do all my texting through this device. So on my, I'm on my computer and I can text. I can see things I can copy and paste, which is awesome. It also, I think, syncs my clipboard, I have that enabled through my Microsoft account. So really, right. really great functionality. Um, the problem was, and as Ace and I both had this issue where with, with on Windows 10 and Windows 11, like people have problems where you can't up, it says an update needs to be applied and then you can't get it to work. And I-, I You get an error, yeah. I used the, I didn't realize it until I, I reformatted and went to Windows 11, like how much I rely on this tool. Now I use Pushbullet, we've done videos on that, but- Push bullet, it's okay for sending messages, but doesn't always get the ones coming in. And that's actually a really big part of you know what how I use the app. So after hours of over months of retrying to find a solution, I finally found one and I actually got it to work, but I didn't really know what I did. So I told Isaiah, hey, I think I have a working solution. So he's gonna show us. Um, he actually understood what was going on. So right. you want to share now your screen. Part of the problem is that when you install Windows, this Microsoft Store, the apps are saved in a very interesting way. And when you go to the App Store or Store, I guess, this thing keeps track of the apps in a very weird way. And it seemed to me that there was a cache issue or something. And even if you go to the app and try to restore refresh it and we tried to refresh the store but it seemed to me that every single app has its own kind of thing i don't know how it really works on that sense but once you showed me the code right then i understood more or less what was going on so here's what we get and this is the the code that really fixes the problem there's two parts to it and you have to run it on the PowerShell. So for you to open the PowerShell in Windows 10 and Windows 11, it's very simple. You press the window key and the X key and you get this um, advanced menu. And in there you have the terminal app, which is really just PowerShell. That's what it is. Now here, uh, let me go through both. Uh, well, through the first command first, because there are two commands here. One just lists all your packages. So if you do this, here on the right side, you can specify what you're looking for. You can remove that and it would give you a list of all your packages. Basically, that's what it's going to do. But as we cared about the Microsoft, your phone, which is a very bad name, and they probably realized that because they now changed it to phone link. So which just now that, yeah, so it's still not great, but the phone link app previously was really known as your phone. Now, if I do this and I hit enter, you would get information about that package. Somehow in this package, something, either the dependencies or whether it was staged or the signature or the status. Actually, when I ran it the first time, the status was okay, but the app would still not work. It would still give me an error. So the second part of the command, we're, we're getting this information and now we pipe it to the reset app package command so when you put them both at the same time so let me clear this when you put them both at the same time what you're really saying is get that package information and send it to the reset package command that's what you're doing and once you do that a blue thing will show up sometimes it takes a little bit longer uh the first time i did this it took about a 30 seconds about a minute or something like that but as you can see, I did it and the blue bar just disappeared really quickly. So the app was reset already. As soon as I did that, 
the phone started working on my end. So uh, this is the fix for now. I We tried it on Joe's computer, it worked. We tried it on my computer, it worked too. And I guess this would work with any of the apps that give you a 0x8 something error. It is a very weird error. And we were even thinking that probably we were banned or something if we didn't buy the... Because uh, we updated Windows 11 with the free version from Windows 10 to Windows 11, right? So it's, it was free for me to upgrade. You and we were thinking, hey, maybe because we upgraded in a free way, maybe... And, and I had disabled a lot of the connection, the things that Microsoft wanted, all the privacy data, all the stuff. I'm yeah, not me too. All that off. <laughs> I thought maybe one of those things. Maybe, was, maybe something more like yeah. But I was really stuck because I use this tool so much. It's it's really it's a great tool. Um, the if you're an iPhone user, yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, you don't have that tool. <laughs> I don't like it. Android users, it's it's a really great. Um, it's not sophisticated. Don't get me wrong, but that functionality of being able to programmatically type, um, especially like just think about your passwords. If you have a crazy password, the yeah. fact that you can connect to your phone and you can either type it and copy it and. It, it syncs the clipboard so I can hit paste or I can display my phone and type there and it sends the keystrokes to your phone. Either of those are just really great whims. So hopefully that helps you out. Like I said, I spent a lot of time trying to find that solution. Um, subscribe to our channel. If you're wanting to learn more about programming and saving time, that's what we, te we teach people auto hotkey. We're the largest auto hotkey channel out there. And um, thanks for watching. Cheers.